Feels a little bit like there's a lean towards Fnatic in the crowd, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you look out there, the yeah. Fnatic side of the stadium absolutely packed. And already some aggressive moves on both sides. Playing down tube to kick things off. Durka with the Sheriff in hand. And Fnatic could activate a very quick flank if they want to with those two players. I see the alarm bot go down in mid though. So I think they're gonna try to retake very quickly with S5. Yes, managed to get themselves a little flank set up in mid, expecting maybe a late split to come in. It's simply not the case though. Everyone grouped up on site here for Heretics. They have that control. Planted just inside Five window planted. as well. And there we go, away zips. Just like Batman, back across that zip line, out of dodge, out of sight, out of mind, at least for a few seconds. Yeah, that topside plant, very exposed for lineups in the post from Heretics. Poster, good of finding an opening kill here, as it does get traded a little bit. Those Welcome extra back, smokes here. from the harbor making things really uncomfortable on site. Good read from Kellogg's as well, off towards his left, finds Boaster. This wall doing so much work, but Durka comes in, pops ahead off, pops the second as well. Really starting to take control of things here, as Fnatic making great use of the Sage Wall as well, to find the cover, but it's Durka to get the closing kill. Great first opening round for Fnatic on a fantastic retake. I feel like any time I see a team uh, draft a comp that doesn't have a Sage, that just happens in the first round. It's like, oh yeah, that's why we picked the Sage, guys. It's for retakes on defense, especially. Just so brutal, especially uh, on pistol rounds, on SMG rounds. It's very hard to cut on through that. So nothing you can really do as soon as you lose control over 4-10. Like I was saying, it would have been great to play lineup, to play very deep like they were with Boo all the way back on Belt, but as soon as that wall gets thrown up, it is just completely lost there for Heretics. Mm. Really good read from Fnatic as well, I think. You know, they've seen it a million times. The teams want to play a range up on ramp, out towards Hut, try and contest in towards the spike itself, but the Sage Ward is blocking everything about that. Great first round. Let's see if Heretics can change up their fortunes here in what seems to be another A hit coming in. Just as he has a, no a idea. <laughs> yeah. Now he knows. He's right underneath. Him. I think they know. But can they find a man? Yeah, of course they can. Durke, the angel of death, finds his man, and that means now that they've all got to force their way in towards A. Two players should come rotating over pretty quickly from Fnatic here. One potentially on the backstab, but Torre is in B mid. Yeah, Fnatic don't want to overfight right off the rip again. A couple players pretty far away, so unlike last round where they are very quickly rotating and forcing in, uh, this round with the rifles, you want to take things a little bit slower. You don't actually want to flank and risk giving a phantom over mm. towards Kellogg, who is guarding that area. Yeah. And Heretic's also playing very forward on site with the smaller rifles. Well, I love the play here. Dirk has gone up through mid to try and group up with his team and said, forget about Kellogg's, he's nowhere to be seen right now. They should be able to get control to find a couple of kills. He had a few start coming on through, but once again, it's Kellogg's all by himself. Four still left for Fnatic, a comfortable round two win. And super comfy too that Chronicle mm. doesn't even invest the, uh, the wall coming into that one. So a lot of extra money that won't have to be respent there for the Sage. Also, Chronicle was the only player, I think, that went full armor and didn't actually get that damage at all. So we're gonna be very happy with how things went, all things considered. In terms of actually like ultimate stacking up here too, like the fact that Durka is just two points off of the knives means that that is the round four option for him more than likely, unless they just mm. cruise away here with a round three win. Now we're doing the half shields for the most part as well. Looking on the other side, full shield buys coming in on the other side. Yeah, that'll mean this is a swing round, right? When, you, when you're when you're investing into the heavy heavy armor, it means in the following round four you will not be able to buy as heretics. So Revealing this area. effectively <laughs> two rounds or 1.9, however you want to math out that. I'm not the expert. I'm on not going to math so out on that. I'll leave that to the, the brighter minds. I'm sure Tom yeah. backstage is racing through it right now. Yeah, the immortal minds maybe need to <laughs> get get involved in that discussion. Well, Toxins third time looking. Down. Think heretics understandably. Looking to try and make things work a little bit closer yeah. in those first two rounds. But given the choice here in round three to maybe push out I towards B, I've opted once again to push in towards A. Taking things nice and slow and Fnatic with three out towards yeah. that B side. Actually, giving quite a bit of space over towards Heretics to make this work. And let's not forget that Sage Wall is not going to be as effective this round. It's very true. The one thing I didn't really mention in the pregame is that with the harbor, you actually have smokes going over towards the A site, so you can block off Rafter. It makes it much easier to plant the spike. You don't have to cheat your way in with the Sage. And Fnatic aren't really playing on A. They're playing heavy retook on A every single round. Durka's very far away from the team, maybe expecting a late lurk like he saw in the last round. Yep. So he hasn't actually rotated over here until the spike's planted. He's going to hold his ground. Well, now that the turret's still up as well, they're not too worried about this. Now Durka should start move over. Oh, and again, it. again, it's going to be oh, another retake. The timing is bad on that. The, the, the Molly from the Viper coming in just a second late. If that hits, that's a kill with the Shock Dart, if it had come in first. But it did not indeed inside of the Cove here as well. It's most struck nice and close. Finds one, looks on towards Dice and finds the second as well. Good start on the retake, but it's not too bad in the two versus two for Heretics, who might finally have that investment in the Heavy Shields pay off. Oh, already on the spike though. That's gonna know. be at least a half stick. 
the, the Killjoy Molly coming in very late, but it's a one versus two. Dirk has to fight his way out. He's only got 22 HP. It's got to be a gamble. Oh, 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 the gamble does not pay off. Heretics finally find their way back in on that force. It looks like for a second there, Boaster is going to be able to clutch that up, mm. finding a couple of spam kills with the Bulldog. That being said, Heretics play the long game. I didn't actually see what ended up happening with Chronicle, if he was able to put down the wall or not. If he died earlier in the engagement, I think. Yeah, he actually died with Zeke backside. So while we were watching uh, Boaster, it was Zeke finding a 3k all on his own. The rest of his team playing lineups from very far away. So respect to him. Basically just clawing that round out for Heretics without his performance on the backside. That is a lost round, I think, for Heretics. Mm. Classic half buys coming in, well, half shield buys, sorry, coming in. Light shields stacked up for Fnatic. I think we're always seeing that by this point, not just across yeah. Fnatic, but pretty much every other team around the world, it feels. But because Durka did so well farming up the orbs in the first two rounds, he now gets to just buy the Stinger as a secondary, and that means in round five he has an Operator. Who so was it we saw yesterday the same, but they had Shorty? That's all they bought. Yeah. I forget I who it was. Remember. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but they ran out. They, see a lot of the they lost the autumn there with the Shorty, like, ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good secondary option. Joy to be found. Ooh, Kellogg. Kellogg. Up on top of screens, looks for his man, but Boaster's just fast and quick on the trigger. It's a really big gamble push right there, and that's a classic Kellogg's moment, right? Go out on your own. Maybe you find one, maybe you find two, but equally simple just to lose your life and put your team at a numbers disadvantage. There we go. Once again, Fnatic stuck in his retake. We've seen this 3 2 split as well. Two on Raptors, three pushing in from mid. Time and time again, but down goes Durka. That's not what you wanted out of that ultimate. They find nothing off the back of it, and it feels like Heretics have got that control in the 3v2. Once again, Chronicle dies on the retake there, so no wall. And actually, Elfier wasn't able to shoot that Molly either. He's going to try to throw one of his own Nano Swarms to zone away these players. Two players playing on the ground, only one can swing from upper belt, but the Mollies are also coming in. The They're round's bailing. cooked. They're bailing. Cooked is one way to describe it, how they go. Opting for now at least to hold on to those rifles, but get themselves well away to safety. Heretics make it two in a row. And everything's been around A so far, let's yep. not forget as well. You're kind of waiting on that point when Heretics finally make the change over towards the other side. That's what we've seen Durka holding on for time and time again. He's waiting to see when the B hit comes in. Yeah, well, Durka now will be able to go for the up. I'm almost positive. Actually, no. Didn't end up having enough. I thought with 2K in the bank, he hold you though. Boaster is over towards B. Using both of my eyes, that's exactly... No, and he leaves. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Using your eyes, but not your brain, apparently. Oh, this is a different setup from Fnatic. So often you'll see uh, Alfier playing in mid and just off of Boiler dropping the alarm bot in mid. He'll change up the position of it, um, just like forward to backwards, so that you can't reliably throw a shock dart and break that one. Uh, but this time it's actually over towards B, so Fnatic are reading my that a bit. Ready. Now, Boaster is too deep towards Snowman to actually throw down that ultimate, like I was maybe expecting him to use. Well, Zeke's managed to grab his ultimate off the back of that orb as well, which can be really pivotal in this push coming forwards. Of course, got the wall split across the site. I think they may try to open up towards Snowman here. Watch the harbor wall. When the Viper wall goes down just a second before it, they could throw a vertical harbor wall and try to isolate off Boaster. That's exactly what they're doing. Now he's in trouble. Now comes the push forward. The aggression you're looking for. They didn't know. He missed the they wall. didn't know about Leo up top as well. Didn't land it on the high ground. It was stuck on the low. They collect a couple of kills off the back of it. It looks so good as a setup for Heretics. But that one small detail, the wall being missing, lets Leo open up. And this is going to be a fanatic round. Hugely problematic there. Not not connecting on the high ground. Also, Durka instantly flying out there on the flank. I was so preoccupied watching what was going on with the walls. <laughs> I didn't even notice Durka coming in the back lines, and Heretics didn't either. So they tried that play, I think, supported uh, by Zeke's Hunter's Fury, too. Uh, trying they to did. push some players off the angles, and it just goes completely uh, awry as their first contact in just gets shot from an angle they weren't expecting to be a possibility. Uh, it's that wall again, as you say, and just a flank off the back. Durka ball caught on that side. Just a really good collapse by Fnatic in what really could have been a bit of a messy situation, but I think Fnatic smelled that something was afoot when they didn't see an early hit coming in towards A, because those first three, four rounds, Heretics were on A site like a rash. 20 seconds in, they were ready to go and make things happen. So when you don't get that same level of aggression, you get a little bit suspicious. Chronicle threw a slow orb there just to buy Look, it. That a forward is so aggression cheeky. is great. Getting the orb and also two kills. Five Fnatic down, with a phenomenal eight. read. Two rounds in a row, expecting the B hit, instantly punishing, and then now playing forward over towards A. Not just to grab the orb and back away, but to still hold those positions, go for the repeat, something that Heretics hadn't seen. Six rounds in, it's the first time there's early aggression from Fnatic, and they carve Heretics up. That's a difficult part. It's like boxing with shadows for Heretics as well, because the second they turn to try and deal with one threat, they're being hit from somewhere else. And Durka, again, almost nearly finding a second side swipe they weren't responsible for. Now Leo gets one back on the other side. You'll happily play this one-for-one -one game. It's a 4v2. 
feels like it's done already. It's also crazy that the I two players they found, all right, work on those hops, uh, are Mixful and Avova. They lost both of their smokes off of those opening kills. Just unfortunate timing. I don't even think those oh, players are leading the charge. They just got absolutely smacked down. Inverse hasn't got to do much here because, again, the communication is there, right? They're pushing through mid. Chances left. are they're rotating over towards B. So what are Fnatic going to do? Three players straight over towards B in preparation. I think there's no harm, really, in Heretics That's trying to fight standing. this one out. Spike Had enough money in the bank B. to be able to go ahead into the next one. So just trying to see what exactly they can accomplish. But, uh, yeah, not really going to be able to happen on this one, especially with Durka once again hopping yeah, over on left. the flank. Just straight into Zeke right here. Durka able to make easy work of that. And now, that's a couple of rounds in a row. So we just talked about how Fnatic played A aggressive for the first time. That catches Heretics off guard. Now that's something they have to think about. But now in their head, too, they're like, okay, two rounds in a row, Durka's flanked us into B main. That's something they're going to maybe commit players to, to play deeper, uh, especially if, if their Killjoy is, is falling on these initial hits and they don't have the turret for protection. It's more for me that you come into this midfield point of round six, round seven, where all these ultimates are starting to roll online. Of course, we've seen a couple so far. Thanks. Have the ultimate out of the sober on the side of Heretics. This time around, though, there are three ults available for them, including that way. Viper's Pit. But I think Bose has been really smart here. Has held on to it, not really seen the aggression or the chance to use it, mm. but he's almost got it as a response if this. we see a Vova come in with his. Durka, fantastic here. Will he find the catch? No, Boo turns around and is ready for it. Down to 30 HP and no opportunities to get a heal, so. Mm. Pulling out Kellogg's there, really. But no one's ready for Chronicle here, right? It does look like Boo's re-clearing here, holding for a potential push, because maybe he was out of range to actually hear if it was a Sage wall up or something. They're worried that there could have been another player popping into this area. Oh Chronicle boy. has a chance to find a couple here. Oh, he swung us at the right time as well. There could have been some magic. They've got a bit of an assist coming in from the ultimate as well. He's expecting oh someone no. on Ram, but they're simply not there. They've completely ignored him, though, and he's going to slaughter two down from the back. That's three, because Kellogg's also went down to Leo. Yeah, Leo is using the Hunter's Fury. He's off the footsteps, calm. Right, Chronicle's position tells him when he can slam that one. So even without a dart or anything spotting it, he just blind is able to snipe one player off. Fantastic. Now you have the late Viper's Pit as well. Mm. That's going to force... Standing. What? A Five shock dart kill eight. from Leo, too. It forces them over into this angle, and Leo finds his third on the round. Beautiful overall. Just once again, clinical for Fnatic is any way you can really summarize the way these rounds have been going. And that was a round that they're playing out four versus five, right? Like, that was not the, you know, Durka superstar go kill. That was Durka, what are you doing, man? You're dead. It was fine. He got the player low. <laughs> but then it was Chronicle's forward position. You know, how Fnatic uh, adapt uh, when they lose players early on, sort of grinding their way out of that round with a great call to, to use the Hunter's Fury there. Just absolutely love it. Investing two ultimates, but making the round virtually unwinnable for Heretics. That's it. I mean, Heretics now staring at the spot again. With three ultimates still online. We'll just see which of those will make the difference. And the Killjoy really is a great way just to hard force something here, but nothing yet coming out. Leo just knows. He knows where everyone is at all times. It's absolutely nuts, these shock darts. We actually, can we check? By the end of this game, you know, Analyst Desk, figure out how many shock dart, like, kills he's gotten, or, like, what the shock dart damage is, because it's got to be nuts. I've seen him land four or five already, and some off of virtually no information whatsoever. Show sometimes that pre place utility or the... The blind fire in the hope that someone is there can reward you big time. Heretics again taking this slower approach that we spoke about previously, right? They slowed things down last time on the B hit as well. It gave a lot of time for Fnatic to make themselves get into the right positions. We had Durka come on the flank through spawn as well. It just really stung them, which is why this time round they've kept Boo a little bit further back. He's watching mid, he's watching on the A cut as well. He does not want Durka coming on the flank, so that 1v1 could be the difference maker. 100%. Now, Heretics do have a lot of big ultimates, so if they're able to find an opening kill or something like this, There's all of a sudden there are some options, and I think they're going to play more for actual B site control. And mm. I, I think in the post plant, if they can use the lockdown, there's no flank left. threat of shutting that one down. There's a lot of opportunities to actually win an eco here. That's what they can do with these kills. Boo's managed to get himself up here inside a tube too. Managed to shut one down as well. Mixwell falls elsewhere. And wow. still Boo. Really saying Boo to a goose outside a tube until Alfie comes out behind him and gets the shutdown. Now out comes that Viper ultimate as well. This looks to be a very commanding spot for Heretics in the 3v3. Fnatic have to fight their way through this. No scouting you till Leo has already fallen and Zeke is finding some what? damage. But the shorty secondary is there always by a shorty if there's a pit on the opposite side or in the round at all. Avova still having a chance now. They're not on the spike just yet. Do they know? Oh, they know when they see him up close again. That's sure he's just doing more than enough. And Fnatic, they get the pull back in the 3v3. 
looking dominant so far today. There's a challenge I want you all to do. When you look at game plan in here and they can figure something out because my God, do they need it. They still got the Killjoy locked down online as well. That's the big one we're looking at and thinking, okay, A hit, nice and tight, nice and close. Good chance to make use of it. They appear to agree as they, A is going to be the play. They have yet to deal with this forward aggression. So they're actually super early Not using again. a hard roll twice. It doesn't matter though. Turkey is finding everything and still fighting forward. Maybe a bit of a mistake as he falls, but it's an instant res. This is it, the kind of pace you were looking for, but it's still looking dicey. They cannot find anyone. The rest coming out has gone back to full strength as you caught on to and uh, 5v2 again. Not even a chance for Boo to get his ultimate out and drop it down because things are already falling apart. Killjoy turret's turned off now, so Boo flank on the flank. There's just nothing you can do. Booster knows exactly what's up. Easy close. And that's the round. Uh, again, the, the two rounds Heretics won, A site was donated over to them. Fnatic tried to play a, a, a slightly delayed retake in, the, in those opportunities, and Heretics fought their way through and were able to win those rounds. Since then, the turning point has been every round, it's been forward aggression, Durka just moving up in through A, supported by Chronicle Sage. And apart from the one round where Boo, you know, shut him down, but even then, Chronicle was there to still win it out. Yep. It has not looked remotely close for Heretics. No. I mean, this is the problem as well. We keep on speaking about that lockdown. It's been two or three rounds now. They've sat on it and not made use of it. On the other side, Alfie is only a couple of points away from having it on side himself as well. You know, it's it's looking it's looking ropey. It's not looking like we might even see them get a couple more rounds in this half. I do fully expect that it's Fnatic to keep on marching through the next two or three rounds. I love, too, that Fnatic have shown four, maybe even five different ways of playing forward in A. Where is the jet? Is she going all the way towards belt? Is she playing on pipe, top 410, all these options? As Boo finds a great opener over towards Fiend, actually puts the turret down in front. So really early ultimate, but because his team is a little bit slow on the rotation, he didn't want to allow, to allow anyone to actually rotate over and, and shoot down this planter. Still Leo marching forward, Chu just went over had a chance to open things up in the middle of the park. That's been removed as a threat. Now, maybe you look at the lockdown that came out a little bit too early because Fnatic was still yep. rotating over. Caught, not even, didn't even force anyone back, really, when you look at it. Time is ticking, though. Got to see a move. Now, perfect information, I understand it, but now they have to fight their way through this one. Harbor wall lasts for a long time, so Durka trying to just drop that smoke. They have to deal with the dart. They still haven't been able to do that. Attacks two players, that's huge. And it allows them to bust open this wall. The wall's gone down as well. Yep, straight back up. Kellox hops down. It's dropping down and gets Durka as well. Gets his opposite man. That's what you're looking for. But at range, it looks like Heretics have finally found what they need and battle their way back in, even with that suboptimal lockdown. Respect to Boo right there. A couple of different times now, Boo has found the openers on the lurk. That time, sniping out Boaster. And maybe that's the way heretics need to play, right? If you're losing the opening duels over towards A, forget that. Maybe scout it out, try to force them back with some good utility, but enable Boo to lurk up through mid or through B main. This was a round two where I think the Killjoy setup had returned to mid with the alarm bot. So Boo was able to slip on past that one. I think so much of that wall that came out there as well, actually. Oh. I okay. Love I love Cheeky this again. though, because now Durka switches it back over to B. He's everywhere. And managed to find the one. He's just kind of reading what's coming out of Heretics. They're going for a rotate back out towards mid here. A kind of untrodden ground by a lot of teams. And Tube has been a bit of a battle point throughout this game so far. Maybe even a full rotate over towards A. I think I... They're trying to catch the rotate. I think they're hearing everything as well. All the footsteps. Does Leo know? He knows. He absolutely knows. Uh, he'll never peek in front of this turret. They have been playing this comp. They've been playing the Killjoy for way too long. Even back in chamber times. Fnatic were the first ones to really figure out how to just shut down uh, kitchen control from the defense or from the attackers, right? It, it, having this Killjoy just limits what you can do on the lurk, which is why when a player like Boo finds a couple of those openers, it's like insane. And you have to, you know, challenge around A or B, but that's a big investment that puts you really far away away from the rest of your team. Well, Zeke's gone fishing out towards A. And no one's bitten. Fnatic actually have kind of read into that as the fake and assume there's a B hit coming in, but it's a double fake oh, coming out watch here. Watch underneath tube though, right? Because <laughs> Alfier maybe was going to look to try some, find left. some kind of pinch. Heretics have gone A to B to back to A again after playing off that fake that we just saw a moment ago as well. Really good reading the round and Fnatic caught slightly out of position here as well. I, I, don't, is, I don't even think it's necessarily out of position. No, because their retakes with, are so good. And, and with numbers so advantage, good. right? They, they don't want to risk losing a single player too no, on no, those no. lurk timings. So they're playing condensed and that's going to benefit them a lot on the retake. Here. 
Skandar coming in here as well, should give them all they need, but Durka, oh my god, the man cannot be stopped. Almost gonna find, no! Finds the third through the smoke as well, Bosa gets dropped. So now it's Zeke and Avoba to hold out all by themselves as Chronicle finds one more. Leo onto the last, and Fnatic, yet again, pull off a miraculous retake. Exactly what you want to be seeing right there. They're just so good on these retakes, time and time again. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 almost been a while, I think, since we've seen it. It was like the first four rounds, every single time it was a retake. And since then, it's been forward fighting, but now challenged to, to make that happen over on the B site. I really like the way they played it. Playing off the Sova Dart, retaking as a team through the smoke, Durkett killing everyone through the smoke. That's horrific. I mean, uh, what is this? <laughs> you find three in the round, and it's basically done on one. Durkett can't even believe it. <laughs> Well, Heretics have really got to buck up their ideas going into this second half because it's going to be difficult. Obviously, the one last round here in round 12 to see things out, but I think regardless of what comes out in this round, there is work to be done. Good good note there from Heretics, seeing that Leo was just one off of the Hunter's Fury, so yeah. that's why they combined the Snake Bite and the Shock Dart. Just looking for a one-shot on that one. Leo hears it coming in, though, so just takes a little bit of damage on that. Actually, wow, Durka really going forward on that one, and Boo's not going to have his number this time. Two quick kills coming in as well. Big heavy A hit coming in with a bit of pace behind it as well. But for the most part, once more, Fnatic's team are largely unbothered. Three of them still hanging out towards B here. As this does, no doubt, the spike will be going down relatively shortly. But they still lose players, even and in that I numbers mean, advantage. A lockdown too. You have to fight forward into the lockdown. Abova has to take a chance. There's two players here. He can't make it happen. Alfier back on stage is going to make things easy. 9 3 on the half. And they even still had the Hunter's Fury ready to go, just in case the lockdown was shut off. Beautiful stuff, great half of Fnatic. It's just brutal, the aggressive plays. That was a little bit less to do with Sage the Agent, and more just how Chronicle was playing it. Yep. Um, but the Sage is a pick where uh, counter to Harbor, where Harbor wants to take more forward space with those deep balls towards Snowman, uh, off of Rafters on A. Sage can, can look for shallower control, so you don't actually have to fully take the site. You can just drop the wall down, look for a plant, do things relatively easily. If anything, I'm, I'm curious here. what Fnatic have cooking here with some mid plays. I mean, every single one falls in through mid as well. We spoke about this a little bit in the green room earlier. That split off towards B, split out towards A, both less than ideal. Kind of one way angle that you give sometimes. Oh, A just feels they, like a murder box. They but they managed to get around it as well. I love this. This is fantastic. Intentional, they're surely. They're going into kitchen. This may end up being. They're actually not taking but two a spike of back. With, yeah. Curiously enough. Oh, that's so cool. They hit the alarm button right when they want to swing into kitchen. So the kitchen player is caught completely sleeping. Mixwell gets dinked down to 13 HP. Now Durka's in snowman. They're wrapping around on heretics. What a cool play from them. And still in full control of the round as well. It's almost like they've won Icebox a few times before, Ender. Wall placement down in a good spot as well, but it kind of works against them as that spike goes down. Once again, Fnatic staying in full control. I absolutely love it. Kellogg's trying to re-clear. That spike's in a wacky position. You can play from back fence as well. So a lot of things Heretics have oh, to work on through. I mean, the fact you can just pop no. on up. Okay. Finds the one. Can't quite find a second. Leo's the one to close him out of this too. Down for two versus two though. Every chance is there, but Leo just cleans house. Fantastic Gorgeous. round for Fnatic. I feel like every time you watch Fnatic play Icebox, it's just a little bit of a treat. Because they just show you another way to take the B site through mid. Uh, like, I think one of the things that really defined this team early on, of course, the defensive setup with the Killjoy. Um, but it was just showing multiple different ways to attack into this so B site. Sorry. So many teams just ignore mid, right? Like, did we ever see a split B hit in that first half? Nope, no, not once. Didn't happen. It's nope. very hard to do. But just the, the layer there of seeing the alarm body mid, smoking it off, getting three players up tube, and then hitting the alarm as you swing. Mm. Anyone in kitchen is expecting five to 10 more seconds before they have to fight. And uh, that definitely on a great read here. Put them in a great opening spot. I mean, Heretics know this is coming, but then the question is, what can you do to stop the onslaught? Fnatic have looked nigh on unstoppable across all of that first half and in that previous round. Yes, they've been slowed down here, but until you see when the gun, when the gun starts sinking, we start seeing bodies drop. That's when you'll really start to get a feel for what's going to happen next. All right, Dirk on Here the opening pass. You'll be able to get through two. Sees the first, sees there the second. There it is. Yeah. That's, his name's Durka. I, didn't he does that. I think even with a rifle on side, they still lose out there. That is what Durka does. In they march. This is where you're seeing the Sage coming to its own as well. They do isolate off yellow, but just cannot do anything here with the pistols on side too. 
Going to be a closey close, closey close out for Fnatic. A closey close out. A closey close out. What's that? It's a cozy close out, but I said it oh, wrong. Oh, I thought you were trying to say it was close. I'm like, I don't think this no. one's close. That's not close. Then uh, five no. one is not very close. No. Yeah. Five isn't very close to one. I mean, side Chronicles the close to death. Twenty three health. Yeah, but so is Boo because he's staring down the barrel of five guns. Bigger maybe, guns than his. Uh, maybe you shouldn't look at those guns. Maybe you should stay away from them. This still needs to die to the spike. I actually, yeah. is it optimal to die there is Boo? I think it is, yeah. Oh, the Sheriff on side, yeah, surely, right? Uh, no, well, the, the, the main difference there is whether or not you die to spike, you die to the player, uh, right? Because if you die to the spike, you don't get an orb, but you also deny an orb from the opposite side. Um, being the killjoy, uh, mm. getting up towards the lockdown is going to be impactful. That being said, uh, we know what Durka can actually accomplish with those knives. But I think all things said and done, Heretics, uh, not not a bad play to try and sacrifice there and try getting towards that lockdown. Although Durka will be outpacing it. And similar to the last half, uh, we'll have that online uh, for round four. In fact, you have one jet sat near the top of the table. The one very far down the bottom really gives you a feel to how the game has played out so far. It has been the Durka show. Kellogg's really able to make himself known or really even seen, if nothing else. Here, Fnatic maybe finally doubling themselves back away. Is this another bit through mid? I don't think so. It could be. They're thinking about it. Surely right not. No, no, no. They just wanted to, th they just wanted to throw the molly through the orb down there. And actually, Zeke's going to use the, the drone, expecting that it could be a bit of a, a mid attempt. I mean, now he knows. Now he knows everything. They know that yep. there must be an A hit coming in. It could be a double back out towards B, which is why you haven't seen Heretics come springing out just yet. But Fnatic have basically got a, a 4v nothing on site here outside of a couple of bits of utility. No. There's just the one off towards the left, and now one more rotates back in. But they've isolated basically two separate 4v1s here. Boaster playing around two here in mid. Here's all the rotations. Actually, he broke the dart in mid, I do believe. He turned around for that one. So Heretics may be aware of the potential mid flank coming in. Poison's off. But if they go on this retake, look at the position Durka's playing. This is really nice. They're expecting the harbor wall to give them protection. Chronicle finds two, Durka finds the one, and he can chill. He can fall back off of sight. Boo can't do anything on his own, especially with Boaster coming in from behind. Just overwhelming force coming out from Fnatic. Just when you thought Heretics had a pretty good game on this map last week, I think 13-5 and five was the final scoreline. Fnatic just reminding them, look, you might be all right against other teams, guys, but they ain't, they ain't Fnatic when you're coming up against them. Comfortable is honestly the best way I'd describe it. I think confidence was the word we were using yesterday. We used all these big C words. words. Yeah, I'm not going to use any small C words. We'll avoid those. Okay. Only the Maybe big some ones. some average. We've had... Cruising. Cruising's not bad. We're cruising. Uh, I mean... Capable. Is, they are... They're very, very capable. capable. Yeah, exceptionally <laughs> capable, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Confidently cruising full of capability. Mm. Heretics gameplay looking a bit crude, perhaps. A little claustrophobic on Icebox. And a Boaster, how charming. Very good. So charming. See, I feel like you're, you're, you're cheating with that word, though. Because it's, 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 it's a ch? It's not like the cur sound, yeah. Mm. No. But charming is a good I'll way go to describe it. him. All right. I'll go with it. We'll commit. Hold on. It's a Kellogg's moment. Certified Kellogg's round win right here. I guarantee it. T-Tours. 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 All right. Um, oh. <sighs> Yeah, Leo's been 4K. really effective today. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but now it's Durka coming in, trying to show what Jets can do. Almost going himself real deep here as well, but he's got to make this work somehow. Managed to get himself straight in front of me lines. He's got himself up high, and now once again, we've got that spike going down, but it's Durka to start off once again. Nothing is stopping this man. He's 24 and 11, for God's sake. Oh my God, Durka wants more every single time, just repositioning to another high position. Having a field day over on this A site, wants to play in front of that harbor wall. Mixwell chipped so low, but he can't quite find a bullet on that one. Doesn't matter, oh, Shorty oh, is in business for Durka. Can he make it 26 on the close?
and see if it does go all the way to three. Just can't really help but get that feeling that Fnatic have warmed up so much and were so dominant on that last map that even with this being the Heretics map pick, it could still yet prove to be a downfall against Fnatic. Here we go, round one. And really, I just want to see where they end up playing with this Phoenix. Kellogg's only has the one uh, flash to work with here. here. And it'll be right around mid, so we can pop this around the corner. It's so fast after the buffs, it's very hard to actually turn away from that. Uh, ca counter like a sky flash, which I think a lot of pro players have gotten very good at just hearing the audio cue, being able to turn away from that one. The Phoenix, very difficult to react to. So I really like the position from him there, uh, putting him over near tree where that sky is too. You can lock down those ways to split into A and B site by having these two flashes on defense. The patience being shown so far as well. I mean, Fnatic just are not interested in giving them anything in these first 40 seconds. And now comes that push. All it takes is a lick of sound. Anything to let them know they're there. Or the smallest bit of interest. And sure enough, there it is. Oh, this is nasty. This is where it's going to come on through. All flashed out, but they still find the kill anyway. Aboba steps out and finds two. Brilliant start playing off each other. Almost using the Phoenix as a little bit of bait there. And my God, does he get a big bite. Miraculous that... Fnatic even managed to find the one kill because that setup was absolutely gorgeous. There's still a player backside. Boo, maybe peeking a little bit earlier, but it's as the smoke drops. So Heretics are collecting bodies out of Fnatic here. This looks to be a pretty decisive first round. Really well handled as well. Just have the utility in the right places. Multiple players ready to capitalize off that flash at the very start. Really set the tone for the round once I've over found that 2K. Great start for Heretics. And we are just going to continue to watch how Heretics move this Phoenix around because already I am loving what they have in terms of mid control. So it's not early mid control, right? Having an offer or something like that's a pistol round. But I think that even as we go later into the rounds, we're not going to see a lot of, you know, maybe the peaking up of Cat. Maybe instead we see a Phoenix pop flashing out of a Cat smoke uh, that we see Fnatic throwing there. Uh, different ideas along those lines. Basically stopping those that secondary choke point into a site. One of the things we can also see later on is seeing Kellogg's play aggressively for A or B main control. And that's the weakness of a Phoenix compared to a Jet. Uh, <laughs> in a world where Jet's there, she can maybe smoke, dash away, get on out of dodge, but Phoenix, instead, he commits. That's yeah. the problem. It'll be, uh, it'll be that Marshall into the hands of Chronicle now. Far from the end of the world in the round where they were, of course, all sat on pistols as well, being able to weaponize that and turn it back against Heretics themselves. The big question on Fnatic's mind now is where to push. Do we try and play a play through market once more, or do we rotate back out and make a play towards well, A? Well, because the door's been closed now, I think Fnatic, Fnatic looked like they want to work over into the B site, but they're going to leave Durka planted very deep up into mid, and he's going to be able to push all the way into CT and maybe pinch down onto a rotator, right? He can hear those footsteps when they go through CT, calm that over to his team, so his team will know when players are going to be there. peaking from CT. And as long as they're successful, removing Zeke here, there's no player instantly able to trade him out because Mixwell has now gone over to pick up mid. This is all of a sudden a doable race. round, although they make so much noise grabbing the orb. You can't really fault them for it. I, I like going for the orb play. 30 seconds even if it left. lowers your chance of winning the round, just because it is eco and you want to start stacking up that ult eco. Deep flash in towards Mixwell, but it doesn't catch out. Zeke, who was sat on stairs as well. Here comes that short side push directly in towards site, which should mean Spike can go down, but do not ignore Durka, who's posted up, waiting for the flanks to come in as well. Uh, Durka falls on that flank, but Fnatic take the site. Holy! Whoa, just a second here. It's a three on two now for Fnatic. Hard for them to play a forward position on site. They're all stuck here, and Leo's very low. A couple of shock darts. He was so effective with those. And back on back Icebox. The recon's there as well for that extra information. All it's going to take now is a little bit of a scan. They know exactly where the last two players are. Admittedly, grouping up together, though, is what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah they've still just got the sheriffs, it's realistically. Lit. Weren't able to upgrade Cover into anything. So Vova's going to try and get a huge paranoia. How many does he find? A couple. Two. Definitely two, but they still find the kill anyway. Chronicle onto one, onto a two. And Fnatic battle away back, back in the second round. Worst case scenario. Heretics get blasted on Icebox, 13-3, then they win Pistol with this really creative setup, and then they try to fight through mid with a Phoenix on his own. That is just not the look you want to be seeing from them. It doesn't matter if you have a Marshall versus Pistols, he falls, and then Fnatic, good spacing on the entry into sight, just removing those players. It didn't even come down to the lurk play from Durka, which I thought was going to be the difference maker. The, the team was just effective on the site in itself. I think you saw the reaction of a couple of the players and the coach there as well, just knowing that was not their round to be losing. They really wanted to chain that into at least a couple more. But now Fnatic give themselves a chance to bite back, and we've seen this across both games, to be fair, with 
real battles following in the second round of each half. This is what we're going to see more of, though, from Kellogg's. Again, looking for these pop flashes where he can swing. Play off of any kind of information. The last time he sent it in mid when he was playing market, it was the second the smoke went down, and that's when they pull, pulled the trigger. Right here, but it's also alongside the paranoia. You've seen the two of them playing together so far around market. Here it's out towards tree. Mm. So in the case that the flash doesn't connect through, or even if it does, they've got flash coming in and the paranoia at yep. the same time. All it means is Fnatic are absolutely screwed <laughs> as soon as they make any form of sound. There's no way to dodge anything. Absolutely. You're screwed. Because if you don't get popped at short range by Kellogg's and you've got the Omen coming out from a range, you're, you're half did. you're screwed. It's a really good setup. Mm. Mm, love now, it. Fnatic, I'm actually curious because Boaster's been able to find a lurk into A and he may end up sending it before the B hit comes on through. Oh man, this oh, could no. really cause the rotations to come in from Heretics, which allowed Durka pushed all the way up oh, into mid to find a snipe. That's how Boo falls. It's Boaster completely oh, on his man. own and it enables lurk on lurk on lurk. Yeah, Heretics have no money, but that was a bit of a gamble push Whoa, from around. Boaster and it paid off massively. Well, you give them an inch and they'll take an absolute mile. Fnatic managing to battle the way back in the second round, mate. Round three looked like easy work. Up two and one, and already started out with Durka with his ult online. We've already seen how much damage he was doing back on Icebox, and you can only imagine the sort of damage that will follow on Ascent. Oh, yeah. I think uh, it's time for Heritage to, to give up on the mid-fight. Yeah, instead, focus back towards market and maybe even challenge into main. That round, Fnatic played for the very early orb into A main. I didn't quite catch who picked up that orb. But I, I, if Fnatic continue to play this way, I absolutely love it. Play strong towards one side of the map, snag that orb for yourself. Yep. Actually, some counter util out of Heretics, not wanting that one to go over. And oh, Dirk is playing so quick into the site, there's three players back there. Making, trying to make play off these flash coming in, but finding himself traded out the back of it straight away. But I love the pace that Fnatic are coming with here, trying to wow. keep Heretics on the back foot. And my God, is it coming out sharp. Absolutely fantastic. They know Mixwell's back here. The shock darts are coming in. That's half of Mixwell's health gone. Somehow he finds one. Avovo was able to get a kill through Market 2. And as they're sort of pinched from Market from back site, Leo is forced to drop down onto the site. Mixwell finds the 3k, and Heretics come away with the round. Big round to make yourself heard as well. We were talking a little bit about the stats on the desk earlier on. I think it was Zeke and Mixwell set up 5 and 14 on Icebox. Not the kind of scores you want to be putting up on the door, but at least starting this one a little bit sharper. Three and two so far across four rounds. Yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> they ran straight into the stack on that. I think Fnatic are even aware of those players. And it didn't even matter. They, they were initially successful. It was the fact that Mixwell found a couple of kills just That's on his exactly own. It, yeah. it wasn't like Heretics were doing a fantastic job like trading out those entry kills. It was mm. Mixwell standing up to the challenge and facing it and, and cutting down Fnatic. So well, once you got the kill onto the guy on near side as well, there were two at distance, but he had just full control of Jail. Really he even had time to step back and get a full reload that Fnatic was so nervous about stairs. It was that classic 2v1 play that we've seen Heretics trying to employ round after round with mixed success so far. It's interesting to see how Heretics are playing now. Both their flashes in the same place up in mid actually spots out the two of them. Again, this trade play again. And because the knife didn't go super deep, you actually know it's a player market pizza. It's not a deep player CT. They actually hear them rotating out now. Durka taking the chance to step on forward, catches oh Kellogg's with the hot in his hands. And also goes to stairs as well, but can't quite beat out of over. That would have been one hell of a play to break open the Heretics defense. But for now, things carry on. Heretics reestablish some form of control in the 4v4. And what I actually like from the Heritage Stay setup rotate. here is it's all the delay tools stacked on A, all the flashes to fight aggressively towards B. The fact that now Fnatic are moving into this A site that they don't necessarily know yet, the, the Killjoy and, and Viper here. Oh, With 40 not. seconds on the clock, now Heretics can cycle out the utility, and this is going to force Fnatic to act quickly and maybe go through those mollies. I mean, they've, ch they've chose about three rounds as well to make use oh, of the Paranoid the knife, Flash, but now it's two. both players. That's a huge! Left. That's all you need for the info, but can they make anything happen off the back of it? Good shot coming through, make that 13 that he's now hit across both maps. But it's Chronicle stepping four for one into a second as well. It feels like Fnatic may have just opened up this A site. Oh man, Boba sees the drone come up and anticipates Leo's position. Two on two now, flashes to work with Mixwell trying to play off of it quickly. Surely that turret gives away the advance cross off towards Dice remain. as well. Mixwell finds yet another, and Alfie has got it all to do in the 1v2. We've seen so many clutches one from this position, minutes. and he finds one. Looking for the 1v1! Wow. Welcome back, buddy. Literally, as I said it, bringing it to life through words. The number of clutches and replays we've seen from that exact position 
that ends up like that, I've lost count. Absolutely fantastic. And and I have to shout out on the site hit, MVP Chronicle. Uh, it's a knife center site, hits both players with their stall util, which made this way simpler in terms of actually getting on the site. It comes close <laughs> to the end, Alfier clutches nice. it through. But one knife like that instantly opens up the ability for Fnatic to quickly burst into the site. Being able to shut off the utility, the denial from Heretics, it ruined their game plan. What I will give to Heretics is I've enjoyed, again, I touched on it a little bit in the last round, how they've rotated around what utility they're stacking with what. We've seen the mid a couple of times. You've seen Kellux, of course, playing out with the Phoenix Flash. You've then also had the second coming out with Evova on the Omen to put the Paranoia over the top. The last round they changed things around and stacked up a double Flash together. So where Fnatic was starting to get used to having to deal with the Omen at range, instead, suddenly, you've got the Sky up close, you've got yeah. Kellux also nice and close. It just keeps them having to work through new problems every single round. The comp lets them play super fluidly. Because forget, like, Initiator, Duelist, whatever. Effectively, you have two Flashers and you have two, like, Sight Anchors, right? The, the Viper and the Killjoy are going to usually play on opposite sides to lock down those areas. And then it's about Heretic setting up the flashes to, to swing in, right? This setup where Kellox is right outside of B main. As the presence comes through mid, he's going to flash into yeah. B and they're going to try and shut down this Killjoy. If they can remove Killjoy, then they're entrenched in B main. And that sight hit from Fnatic through Market Door is going to be way harder to commit through. Question is, is there a good read from Heretics here on this push coming in? I mean, the fact they've got three players all stacked into one, but Leo steps in for two. They did not know about the man coming in deep. And they managed to start marching things on forward. Another good start for Fnatic. Yeah, just too slow there, catching them off guard. Fnatic were relatively quiet, I think, moving up towards mid. Otherwise, I can't imagine Heretics would have been playing completely out in the open. Respect to Mixwell, shutting down Boaster in a situation like that, but still four Ten players surviving left. on site with the CT Fight push. Planted. That removes any possibility to win the round. Yeah, it's tough because the Vaughn actually got to force your way through here standing. as well, just playing into that two versus one. Mixwell left standing against the base of four. It feels like Fnatic maybe started shaky in the first two, three rounds. Really warmed into things now, and Leo letting himself be heard with the 4K. Fnatic might have a couple of ultimates to work with in this round too. It's possible. Sad one or two. When, when you see this bar of red, <laughs> I know most of you are accustomed to that meaning you lost every game in your match history, but for Fnatic, it means they have every ultimate ready to go. <laughs> I felt that personally. Yeah, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, I mean, the, the setup here from Heretics, I actually like. The thing is, it had to be informed by some piece of utility. That's what they're waiting for a lot of the time. They're waiting for... Like. So look, you need info to inform when to use your utility, right? Thing is, heretics don't have a lot in, in terms of that, right? You have the sky flash, which you don't want to use, because then you're giving away the sky positioning. But perhaps maybe you need to commit that just for scouting of the sky dog as well. Of course, potential options. Actually, Mixwell is broke. He didn't... He just got the, the free flash. He didn't buy a second one, and he didn't buy a dog either. He's fully investing into this round. Light armor and a rifle, but that means no utility on him. Kellogg's has full util and the Phoenix ult, which we actually didn't talk about. It's only a six cost ultimate, so theoretically you should be just farming those up and spamming that. I expect on the attacking side, we'll mm. see him trying to grab a lot of those orbs, but on defense, he's got to be able to find kills to stack that one through and play for that. Well, Lothar said it back on the desk earlier. If you're playing well, you're having an excellent half. You can get four, five, even six of those up in one half. You keep on chaining it together like that. It is very cheap. It is very easy to use, but it is so conditional on you having a really good game that, you know, Heretics, as we said so many times, still trying to battle their way into this one. You know, if you ace every round, you could just have an ult, like, 11 times and a half or something. That'd be ludicrous. <laughs> oh, man. All well, right. Some of those would come from the ult itself as well. The thing is, I mean, they're just going to burst onto the site with the lockdown, too. Mixwell is forced to remove himself from the situation. But good news is, this Viper Wall, popularized back at lock-in, is so good on the retake. It allows you to flood out from CT without actually peeking towards B main. And that's what they're going to use. And they're in as well, even with a bit of pre-fire coming in from Heretics to try and dissuade Fnatic away. Just hasn't happened. They've got inside, they've got three on site, they've got two holding off. One inside of Market and one still holding. Just off site as well, waiting for this push to come The retake in. is so tough though, because Leo has ult from back boathouse. If you walk down lane or stairs, you are getting hit by a vertical oh, soap ult that hits everything. Actually popping that oh, one man. pretty early. One, two, no, can't convert it into another. And the first one's already the ultimate as well, as Leo turns that Hunter's Fury online and finds Zeke. Wrapping around. I mean, Heretics have no way to get in here. Ovova with potential timing, but even oh. then, Durka's waiting for him. And they're going to have to call the save. It all falls apart for Heretics. 
And it was once again, it wasn't the, the later ult like I was expecting from Leo, but it's Leo having his forward position teammates calming, right? Remember on Icebox, when Chronicle was up in jail in A main? Yeah. Heard the players coming, Leo slams the ultimate. Again, it's not a dart or a drone tag that's informing when he uses his ultimate. Sounds. It's perfect comms from his teammates, and he's able to find the kill on Zeke, and then Heretics can't get any forward position towards the retake. It's making it again look pretty effortless on the side of Fnatic. It was expected coming in. For a second, maybe we thought, okay, Ascent, Heretics might warm back into it. Not really yet to happen. They did go through four of their ultimates in that last round, mind based. you. But Durky has still got the one on the go. Based, based, based. I don't want to see you guys saving your ultimates for the perfect ult later on. I want to see you invest those to win the rounds. A round win is way more valuable than having an ult into the next one. Well, realistically, you use it there as well. You've got a chance of getting a second one or a second exactly. set online here. You save it to round nine, it's too little too late. Yeah, really. I mean, you it's pop the ult, lose it. you pop the ult and you get a kill later in the round, you're still stacking up even within that round. This is interesting. So Quite aggressive as well on the use of the Viper's Pit, just to really hold out aggressively towards A, which should mean realistically heretics can commit more players out towards mid or out towards b but they've only got two sat there right now but what are we doing though because yeah we have a main control but Fnatic keep punishing through mid and you can see the two players over towards b are closing the door i think that's the right call close door play for b main control and then you have mixwell playing really deep towards spawn but mixwell again doesn't have a dog they're going tree i think they're he only it. again had the one flash mixwell's just not investing in utility and they wanted to come I thought they were going to try and push into the Viper's Pit late, which would have been crazy, but no. It looks like there's a bit of a convergence coming in on Trina, the big C word for you there. Trying to push their way through into Wars <laughs> Tree. Three of them looking at it. Great way to bypass it, but right now it's more of a feel for, okay, where is the push? Where do you want to make this work? Not 100% sure. They've got about 10 seconds and they're going to have to commit. Well, right now, Kalox just really needs to get this rifle back in mid. Mixwell had the, old, the second left. rifle only for the team. That smoke is going to say thank you and have a backstab here. This is huge. And it's, oh, and he still and can't make not. it work. He looks the wrong way. He gets the flash, but it's just not enough. Fnatic pretty quick on the response. Looking in towards Jail. Right idea. Wrong execution. Oh, Ova gets two right there. Shorty from Boaster finishes the job. Man, that's a heartbreaker with Kellogg's popping through the smoke. I actually think the flash cost him there. It's hard to fault him for using that flash because you don't want someone turning around watching that. But I think it actually gave the, the idea that someone was pushing through the smoke and the players turned around and shot him through. Just a, an unfortunate situation, not a misplay by any means. Really composed and slow round for Fnatic as well, where mainly we've seen, you know, we're going mid, we're going to commit towards it, we're making this push happen. Bit of back and forth there, moving between tree as we commented back out towards B, finally settling on mid. And, you know, looking back at the theme of Icebox, we were sat backstage during the green room, you know, I asked you guys, why do so many people hate Icebox? And the answer was, mid isn't really playable. But Fnatic forcing their way up at time and time again, you're seeing that carry on to it. It's not the same. Yeah. Level, I, honestly, I but think if you, hate ice box, more and more. if you hate Force Icebox, you here. haven't watched enough Fnatic VODs. That's like the <laughs> based and real and true take. Like, sorry, <laughs> Icebox haters, watch a Fnatic VOD. Yeah. They make it so interesting. And similarly, you're here, an Icebox fan, right? I'm a big Icebox fan. Absolutely. Again, I watch Fnatic VOD, so it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> but, but all things considered, um, I think Fnatic have identified, A, on Ascent, if you're splitting into sites, you have a way higher chance of winning out those site hits. But also, there's never going to be an op with Heretics' team comp fighting you in mid, so it's so free to take early control here. And ah. Kellogg's just running around like a headless chicken. I don't even know what that is. Well, they were trying to play the same setup once again, where it was Flash and Paranoia playing in mid, and they tried to use Kellogg's as the surprise coming out here from towards uh, Tree, trying to make the swing happen on the Flash, but simply finding nothing. He swung yeah. out expecting two to be there and no one was there. Well, Bad time. The, the fact of the all. matter is, like, I understand what heretics are trying to do, right? They keep getting abused in mid, so let's do this, like, late round mid reaggress uh, with the flash coming through. But I think the timing's Fnatic a little off. Fnatic expects it is the problem. Fnatic's expecting it, and also, like, the Phoenix flash, if Fnatic are playing well in mid, you have someone Sabrosa, you can have someone top mid, like, it's really hard to catch everyone. And it wasn't even like Kellogg's was working out of a smoke. Left. The smoke was down, so it wasn't able to get a perfect angle or anything off of that. Just an unfortunate situation as Zeke makes the round winnable. Can he win it? Is the next big question. And then we go with the Killjoy coming out as well. That could be the difference maker. Now the question is, the Heretics want to get nice and aggressive here as well and make this work on their side once it pops off. They've got to force them down to wine, and they know you can see the pings coming out. They know there's going to be two trapped down here, but now they've got oh. to push in for this. The stall is perfect too. They have a Nano Swarm too, so get on the spike. Get on the spike, throw a Nano Swarm. Okay, oh, okay. it gets broken. Gonna make this work as well. There we go. That's the shutdown heretics are finally looking for. Great use of the Killjoy ult too. 
Alfie here has been practice, practicing his pop and swing. But uh, <laughs> maybe needs a little bit more time before uh, that one succeeds. Zeke was fantastic there. Four kills on the round for him. We've actually seen a, a couple of the rounds Heretics win. It's one player to step up. Previously, it was Mixwell over on that B site from, from the Roadhouse. This round, it's Zeke on the initial hit, cutting someone off while he was in Turi, and then on the retake two, having the lockdown. Really nicely played from him. Still kind of know that Dirk has got that ultimate back online once again. I think it's up more often than it's Has not. he used it yet? I don't think so, but he just keeps it. I think he's just it. so wealthy. Like, he's actually just the <laughs> 1%. He's dripping in gold. He yeah. don't care. Not like he needs to do much else right now. Fnatic, again, still so far in the lead. Yeah. Alfier attack opping on the Killjoy. Respect. I don't know how I actually feel about that yet. I need I need to let it like. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's not no, it's, it's not normally the go-to Asian that you want rock in the op. We'll say that much. Here. But at the same time, I mean, he's just big chilling on the lurk up mid, so he's actually going to hold. I actually think his read I, I is like that. It. No, I think his read is the Heretics players have been rotating maybe through market to CT. They've also been aggressing all the way quite CT. hard into market. Let's not forget. Yeah. But it's here how he controls half the map by himself, right? He's got market control. He's got out towards B spawn control. Meaning the rest of his team, everything Ooh. can just go towards A, and you haven't got to worry. Huge setup here with the paranoia into the flash. He sees the teleport. Blinding. And now he's able to line up a couple of players. Alfier got into A main with the op somehow. Now through left alone. Leo comes swinging around the corner. Fnatic have A. That's what they were looking for, really. Again, posting up with the op is going to help them so much. Door closed, and now they can look in for the plant. All you've got to do is watch out towards heaven. You've got the drone to help you out as well. This feels hard for heretics to fight their way back in. Yeah, Mixwell has to wait a little bit longer before the bird gets back in his inventory. How many more seconds before they can go for this? Because otherwise they're walking into a brutal crossfire. Still no flash on Mixwell. And they're playing it so slow, but the swing is going to be there. Great two kills from Zeke. Now he's going to do all the op as well. Full flash prongs out the shot as well. We've been here before. End of this one versus two. And they even bring out the Viper pit as well. This is where the shorty could actually work in his favor. Yeah, but it's too far away. The spike is just completely isolated from him. Alfier cannot play this round out. MVP Zeke on that. Finding the two kills. Also, I think unlocking the Viper's pit because of them. And then you feel real foolish for having the operator. Not Alfier's fault with his two players falling in hell. But an unwinnable spot to be in. Oh, okay. That was gross. I suspected that was how that one had played out, but sometimes you just got to see it to believe it. Heretic staging a little bit of a fight back here. Not quite yet at the point that you'll feel fully confident to say you can see them bouncing up to a 6 6, but it's looking good. Can't ignore that the Killjoy ult once again for yeah. Fnatic, though, is about to come back online. Very true. We'll see uh, Alfie are farming a but I have no doubt. Although he's actually playing opposite side to the team. Makes sense. That's how the Killjoy usually plays, but. Makes it harder to work into that. So maybe we see that come online as a post plant tool a little bit later on. The setup from this Killjoy is super deep. Oftentimes you'll see that put down in tree. If you're not playing with a primary flash or a sky or a phoenix ahead. in tree, you'll see the double mollies down in that area. But actually it's all the way back towards Jen trying to catch out Durka on his path and deep into sight. Here we go as well. Really good pullback by Heretic. Spot not only to expose themselves too much, but on the dice. Here come quite the hit the ow, 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 get out of there, Chronicle. <laughs> <laughs> My toes. <laughs> Nipping away. Look at Strong get this fight down there a second ago as we see the retake already coming in a little bit. I from Heretics, they were grouping up for a second on door, but with it being closed off, Boaster just ready and waiting, saying, you dare, he who comes must enter. This is gross. He uh, learned hey. this from his brother in arms, Vanity. Oh, oh and there it is. The what? Nope. Nap time down, he gets him. How did that even work out with Chronicle falling down? Durka gets two. But again, falling down to a two versus two. It could go either way. Oh, the okay. reflake from Alpha finds the Phoenix Feather. Now a Vova in a one versus two. Smokes himself so he can take this to half. The shock darts are coming through. Down to so no. little. He's reloading. He has time. He has time no, to full stick. No. Leo finding him on the spray. If Vova was so close. Last round Pain, the suffering, <sighs> playing against Fnatic. <laughs> right, These yeah. things are all completely in balance. Synonyms. Literally open a thesaurus. It's just boasters smiling, doing the troll face. The aware emote as the smile turns to a frown. <laughs> Somehow, okay, that actually this got is, a kill that's backside. A, that's, that's brilliant, nuts. I love it. Absolutely love it. And off the back of the flash as well, doing work. But Durka, that's 2k for me. The great equalizer. Yeah.
absolutely nuts, I think, area. at the end. Fnatic still winning that one through. Important for Kellogg's to actually get on the board. He gets three kills that round. Pryor had just been shut out to the one, and now he's feeling himself just a bit. I like this. Finally seeing an aggressive fight for B main, like actually pushing to play off of those flashes. And now Fnatic scatter somewhat, spread across the map two and two. The Killjoy utility is fully in mid. Oh, we see a player down bot side held. Durka's gonna play off this super quickly. He wants to go before anyone can rotate on over. But there's a player up heaven already. It doesn't even matter. Avova with the shotgun tears him down. And Zeke can reposition using that Viper's wall onto site. Well, Dirk has been saving that ult for like half of this half as well. A full oh. quarter of the game has gone by. Mixwall knows. If he didn't get that one, there would have been questions to ask, but Boaster, sure enough, does fall. Vogue Great tag. Again, uh, Leo is <laughs> unreal with them, right? I actually think his shock dart hit percentage is higher than his like headshot percent. I don't know. It's nuts. This guy can't miss a shock. So much impact. 30 seconds left. But well, this one feels a bit done. Is it too bold to say best Sova World? I don't think so. Now they know. The more you know, the easier it gets. Find the man, Boo with the shutdown. Seven and five half doesn't feel like the end of the world for Heretics either. Heretics gonna be very content Put with how that went for them. Because for a second there, it was not that. They strung together three at the very end of things. And I mean, yet, being down what, six and two? Real killer. Yeah. I'm not. I'm done and dusted. Let's see how their attack inside goes. We are looking at that double smoke, double flash. That really has got to be the primary tools they're looking to operate into the second half. On the other side, as you've already said, that op could be a difference maker for Fnatic. Slow walk up towards A to get things underway. Looks like Alfier also has this deep generator control killjoy setup. And that's going to sting again, Kellogg's. <laughs> Getting hammered a bit with utility, oh. but is able to turn it right around and shut down Durka from that comfy angle way deep on Raptor. Can they stop anything about this by the looks of it? No, in fact, yes, Leo. there we go. Yeah, down, stop, a. my dudes. Someone's got to clip all these. It'll be a good 10 minute <laughs> highlight reel, but it'll be fantastic to see. Spike goes down, Leo into a second, Boaster connects it into a third. A massive wave, an orange wave sweeps over Heretics as they retake control. Two players offside, it's just a full stick. Heretics get slaughtered on the site. Jesus. Playing double smokes, but somehow it, it was a big cycle, a big window, even though Viper had plenty of gas, where Tree just wasn't smoked off. I'm not sure if the, if the calm was late with the Vova smoke dropping towards Tree, or maybe Zeke had brought that one down far earlier. But regardless, the players on site from Heretics just did not seem prepared whatsoever from those players swinging them in Tree. My gods. Yeah, that's fun. He's been running around on those lineups for a while. You just know it. I think, again, I, d I didn't quite catch the exact quit with the desk, but they said I think it was like 12 shot darts than Ludicrous in that first map. Yeah, I, bl I, 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 I didn't hear from the desk, but I saw it from Reddit. Reddit's never betrayed me, so. That sounds like a lie. Yeah, I love how I literally asked the desk to figure out how many kills, how much damage he was going to get, and I just did not pay attention. <laughs> they counted how many lines at the very least, and that's the important thing. Already Kellogg's out of this round. It's uh, become a bit of a theme where sometimes he finds himself either too far ahead of the team or is the first one to fall. Done it once again, just sitting back and just waiting to see what comes next. This is where, back in that first half, Fnatic would sniff around mid and really look for that to be their push. Heretics look very keen on tree and pushing in towards A through Wine, but it's constantly being re-smoked out by Fnatic. Yeah, just hoping someone will show their base against them. Realistically, Kellogg's is just going to play to farm orbs throughout this half again. Six point ult orb that's so powerful and that effectively becomes your 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 dive that how you get into the site is you just have that extra body and then you feel less bad about not having a, a jet or a raise someone that can close the gap very easily this is over to tp in there mind you see that's got left. pretty close here and has a good angle on towards chronicle who's got no idea that he's coming that's a great way to get tree control and now they've got to start worrying about a potential push up towards heaven from off towards back but no doesn't matter an inch. Fnatic once again in full control. Yeah, Fnatic not particularly worried. <laughs> Mixed well just waiting. Oh, come on, give me a jump peek, give me something. It's not going to happen. But we will continue to watch this Viper Wall, because I think this Viper Wall is, is a really interesting one in terms of like blocking off the cat peek from a potential operator later on, but also sort of guiding your way into a B split, right? I think oftentimes that's what you're going to 
ask for with your Viper. And, uh, well, one thing is, too, it's going to be important that Alfier puts his alarm bot on the left-hand side of that wall. Because if it goes down on the right-hand side, that one gets thrown up. That, uh, that alarm has given you absolutely zero value. Rolling over three of the Bulldogs into this round as well. Oh, Not yeah. very confident. Keep on stacking up that economy. He missed! How dare it he? It is possible. <laughs> the random shock at See, the next start. stat you really need is how many he's landed in a row. That's oh. the measure you need. Oh, wait, this but, one's going to hit, though. But Paul's just landing. Paul's it's how many he actually lands in a row. There we go. <laughs> did he tickle him? He tickled him. Yeah, that did some decent damage. 30... 46? 31. Shadows traveling. I didn't see how much you had previously. Yeah, 125. Was it on light? Yeah, it was on light. Right. Yeah, yeah. But now, again, making tree a play. It's this is what I'm talking about, too. They love it. You gotta work through mid. And what they're gonna do is they're probably gonna use this omen smoke just to You're block off tree just like this. Day. Phoenix with a round three ultimate. How many agents can actually accomplish that? Can he find Boaster? Or can he convert it? At least to begin with, no. Down, Natural kill coming across onto a Vogue oh, as well. No. A one to start. And Durka is embedded down in wine. Thankfully, Mixwell gets this kill so they can try to pinch down onto Boaster, but they still have to be worried about hell. The spike can't actually get to sight. Boaster is still a nuisance. Trades one for one. You gotta love that. Chronicle sat pretty deep, though. I think oh, they they're pinging him. The ping's there. They know. They absolutely know. And he didn't have too much joy from this angle earlier on. Do they? Yeah, he's change the we saw the ping coming out. But let that one get away from them, though. Now turn it down to the one versus two, but they win it out comfortably. Heretics back on the board in the second half. And Kellogg's even gets two orbs after the ultimate got canceled out there. So on track to keep cycling on through those. That's what we want to see from Heretics. But now a, a, a new fold enters for Fnatic. Durka has that operator. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, okay, okay. To be fair. Oh, well, we're just going to show the missed shock dart, are we? Not the one that hit, just like, you know, <laughs> 20 <laughs> seconds later. This is Leo Slander. The thing is, though, what I will give is the position was fine. Just purely a time. You know thing. what I'm down with, though? We could just, like, lie as a broadcast, right? We could only show the misses from Leo, get everyone to underestimate him, right? For all, maybe even all the Fnatic players, we only the show bad is, plays. And then when it comes to Tokyo, all these teams are sleeping on Fnatic. It's like, oh, they fell off after lock-in. And then all of a sudden, just every round, they're getting shocked, they're killed. I feel you just look at the kill feed, though, because he's got a good view across that's, the series. That's good counterplay. You're right. Even if you can't see it on screen, you know it's coming. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work. No. But maybe the in the plan, won't because he be actually that gets kills. Can Phoenix Durka. do that? No. Sorry, I sound like a real Phoenix hater. I actually really appreciate that Heretics are mixing things up, but this is the problem. And one thing that I hope we see a little bit differently in Heretic's attack, right now they've just been using the Omen Smoke bottom mid, but uh, if Zeke is throwing uh, orb lineups, one thing that can murder a Jet playing down bench, down bottom mid, is because you have control over when you drop the smoke on Viper, counter to every other agent, no other agent can do that. You can pull that down, swing with a couple players, and punish a Jet that's overextended. She can't teleport away as far like a chamber can, so sometimes that jet dash isn't enough to get out of harm's way if she's mm. all the way down. And that's why you're largely relying on a playing on Heaven here, as well as trying to step across and immediately being covered. There's a flash that comes in from Kellogg's, for example. Down to the last 20 seconds or so, this is where that hit's got to come in. They've opted for B, this is where they've got to find these kills, Ender. Oh my, Leo from backside too. There's two players on site. Heretics have to get through seven seconds left. There's absolutely no time. Leo continuing to stall. Can he find the planter? No, oh, he does. Oh, Bob has to pull off to stop it coming through. And the round is done. Boo can do nothing but fall. We get a pick, we move in. Got it? Leo is just blowing my mind this game, man. It's hard because you can say the same about, I mean, both had a great first map too. Durka has been unbelievable throughout, as you come to expect, but dumping tree is a result. Look, the thing is, Durka is going to be playing bottom mid, so Killjoy is going to be playing tree. I think if Durka was trying to peek Cat or something like this, not that he would because of the normal Viper wall that Heretics have been throwing, but I think if he was was to try and play Cat or play A main or something, then you would see the Killjoy move away from tree. Mm. Put the alarm bot in mid, uh, in front of that viper wall. Put the the mollies down on that B site. Block off lane. These types of ideas. It's very much the stat they've got that is ready and waiting for any kind of push to come through. And actually, it looks like here for that first time we are going to see the A main hit. This is what I want from Heretics around the world. Kellogg's tape orb. Let's run the 
Boo will have heard if there was ever an orb taken in B. Mm. And that's what they could do in the next round. They would just be one off. They could snap that up and run on in. I don't think trying to actually play and win this round is ideal. Although, does Sky have Spike? Yeah, Mixwell has Spike. I think they could even try giving that one over to, to Kellox if they really wanted to. Yeah, get out of there. Go B, go B. Very much practical on save here. So even getting the Spike down will feel like a small victory in itself. Anything beyond that probably is going to be considered a bonus, but you can't ignore that they'll be down at that point, 11 and 6. Two more rounds is all for that. needs to close things up. I'm a huge believer in the throwaway round. Try and play for some ult points. Because <laughs> uh, look where Dirk is playing right now. If he repositions that crosshair to, to watch market, actually, if he doesn't, he could be in a little bit of trouble. Depending on if they show to now they know. Chronicle first. Well, no, because they don't have to show to Chronicle first on this angle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is a terrible setup. It doesn't matter. Uh, until Chronicle just <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, down. but... Uh, <laughs> this is the problem. When the players can save it, uh, it doesn't matter. That's, that's the, the thing, though, right? As soon as, as soon as Durko falls off of mid, they don't have an alarm bot there because they were expecting to have a forward position. So, cut a little bit lacking with Durko Stop holding done. on to main there. Planted. Shot One dot as well. What a range. Into towards the second, but no, Boba <laughs> finds his man. Just fly it's swatting right there. This has gone much better than they would have hoped for. I said getting the spike down and into a couple of kills would have been wonderful, but they managed to find four. Yes, they lose the round, but it's good for those old orbs, as you say. I mean, literally, East Chronicle doesn't find three players funneling through. I know. The there. That's they a, probably lose it, yeah. Yeah, that's a one round for Heretics. That said, I think that was a rare, like, poor setup from Fnatic. Just, like, literally, <laughs> Turk is holding an angle where no one's got his back. Chronicle hard baiting him on that. Maybe that was the idea? It's possible. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. I mean, with the way it worked out, they could go, yeah, totally planned, man. Yeah. We got this in the bag. Hey, wait, I'm trolling. I mean, so if, if Kellogg's had gotten the B main orb, he could with the death, he would have six. But yeah, I just completely was like disregarding the fact that he would have to die at the end of that round and be one off. So that'll likely be the idea here. It's time. Look, if Fnatic can misplay, so can I. United rivalry. This gun, man. Can we turn the volume down? I uh, know. It's a bit <laughs> abrasive, don't you think? <laughs> My poor ears. It's a terrible day for ears, actually. <laughs> All right, the rotate off towards A coming in by the looks of it as well. Or it could be tree. It yeah. could just be duping us for the second time. That's just to check in on the Viper Molly, it is still Omen Smokes in mid. The, the Viper Orb in B main does make sense. It's really to stop the, the aggressive push from, uh, from a Jet op. You can throw that up and Jet's not oh, going to continue to hold that angle. Here we go, though. Use the wall, grab the orb. We are big chilling. And there's potential for a late lurk or even pivot off of Zeke's position forward in mid. No alarm bot to spot out his position. So it'll be up to Leo not to over-rotate and to guard Joke's all the way back found. You're dead. Here we go. I did say this committing towards A might be the one to go Get for, and here we go. Players here. Straight in, but what can he find? Is anyone going to be the answer? No, because immediately it's shut down as well as Mixwell. Trying to play off the trade of that, uh, the ultimate going in, but nothing to be found. Get Second out. Posting up, and Dirk is like, help me, help me. Gets out safely. And Just. even Chronicle in mid finds the lurk on Zeke. I, I, I wish Heretics maybe had called oh, the rotate God. five seconds before, but they go for the push. Now it's... All falling apart. Poor Boo needs to find Ten some way to survive. Left. But the smoke's gonna drop no, and actually the rare whiff out of Durka. Now it's up to Fnatic to try and recover that rifle. But against four, it's just nothing to be done. They Oop. fail on that one. They managed to recover the off as well. Max no point. big concern. Lovely. I mean, three ults. This is about as good as a chance you're gonna have here as Heretics as well to try and bounce this one back. But it's feeling like a bit of a a foregone conclusion. Maybe they get an orb and Zeke collects his two, and that can be the real big playmaker off the back of that. But somehow you've got to train, what, six rounds back to back? Yeah. I think reflecting on this, Heretics just had to, had to have a more effective defense. Yes. I'm sure, like, we've seen some ideas of how they want to play out this attacking side, but with Durka continuing to just take forward stances in mid, it shut down Heretics' ability to play through that area of the map in the same way that on Icebox, when he realized, oh, they just want to keep going A, I'm going to push A and fight them, and he's winning every engagement, mm. it shut down their ability to win any rounds on their oh, attacking yeah. side. The consistency as well is 45 kills across two maps at the minute for Durka. Like, he's unbelievable yeah. in this game. Respect, though, because they have forced Durka off of the angle. Like, that was a good uh, example of using multiple smokes, the walls, and now splitting into A, but they're getting carved up. The Sobolt into the... I mean, you're getting oh pushed back into the util. It's gorgeous. 
just so well prepped yet again. They've just walked into it, but again, the tree pushes have been so readable. Fnatic has stacked it every single round. They've got some control. Kellogg's is in for one. Now Dirk is posted up on the high ground, waiting for the hop. He's daring for it. He does come up, but backs away once he gets flashed. Yeah, Fnatic is going to back out of this one, play retake. Dirk are really trying to hold his ground. Oh, he's not going to quite make it. A bit unfortunate there, but he was going to be slow on the retake anyways. Look at Boaster ulting into the spawn, trying to get a flank going. Heretics won't exactly know. They can expect that this will come in. But without Killjoy, Util, and A-Main, it will not be confirmed. That's it. No turret in place to feed this away. So if he gets this right, this could be deadly. But of course, another shock lands. He's got to stop this. Zeke has to be a goblin inside of this ultimate. Playing so That's close here, but standing. everyone's fallen. One versus three. What can he do? Players dropping all oh, around the him. Shorty. Durka to close with the shorty. Fnatic only allowed three rounds versus them on Icebound.